Hello everyone, this is Michael Okechuku Lovenger, the creator of Michael Lovenger Speaks and the father of Theo Ominosis. Welcome to my YouTube channel that offers you seven different topics every week of the day. We have Deliverance Ministry, Love and Romance, Health Factors, Born Again Identity, Ministerial Admonition, Matrimonial Admonition, and the Human Heart Cast. We are here to give you the best because we are the best. Once again, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will bless you all. May His grace and His favor and His mercy be increased over the life of everybody that could hear us right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray that you will have your way. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Okay, this is where I think we should summarize for now the principle of body pH. What we've been talking about, this is the fourth part, okay? You may wonder how is this thing so important? It is so important because it is a kind of... It summarizes everything we've been talking about so far. All right. Body pH, such a strange name. Many people don't even, I've not even heard about pH. They don't even know what it is all about. But I've, I believe now that having gone or listened to this, uh, this thing, you can attest to the fact that uh, it is really very important because life is all about balance okay may god bless you for coming back to our channel in the mighty name of jesus amen all right this is what we're going to summarize everything about body pH, the acidosis alkalosis and the maintenance of the food the life pattern that triggers the acidity of the body which brings about sicknesses and diseases all right Remember also that we have read, read so many Bible portions from Ecclesiastes chapter 7, 15 to 20. It said that eh, you should not be too go into acidity or calling aside, but you should do what? You should maintain. It is all about maintenance, okay? It is all about maintenance. Remember that eh, it, as strange as it may sound, the body pH has to do with hydrogen ion okay so from 0 to 14 okay 0 being extreme acidic and the 14 being extremely alkaline and 7 being neutral but the body is not maintained as neutral at the base okay where it is neither hot nor cold somewhere in the bible the bible say because you are neither hot nor cold, I'm going to spit you out. I would, or I prefer you are either hot or cold, so that I can decide what to do with you. I just put this uh, last one now. Okay? All right. But because you are neither hot or cold, so the body is slightly alkaline. Okay? Slightly alkaline. This is where you maintain the body process. All right? Your body should be maintained between seven point three six five and seven point four zero zero. Uh -huh. This is because blood needs to be slightly alkaline to nourish your body tissue, your organs, and your organ system as and your whole body as a living organism. So it is all about bring bring your body towards alkaline medium. So, let me tell you, begin to correct your life right now because I know that eh, people are highly acidic. I am telling you, people are highly acidic. The level of stress, what people hear in the news, the, 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 the uh, uh, high price, the high cost of living, the rate of divorce, the accident, both rare and imagine on the one on the news, the news about war, the news about earthquake, the news about tornado, the news from the government, the forthcoming election, the religious crisis, uh, the inter-tribal war, oh my God, the rebellion from the children in the family, 
Mm. <laughs> the high price of food and their services, goods and services. Premaritas, extramaritas, late marriages, childlessness, lack of love, end of family, hmm. having multiple jobs, ignorance, general confusion, lack of personal identity, lack of a direction in life. <laughs> You can see the Bible say that the uh, Bible could just say that man that is born of a woman is of, of few days and full of uh, trouble, full of what trouble. So begin now to correct your life, begin now to go alkaline, begin to bring down the alkaline nature in your body. All right, remember it is all about the food, your lifestyle. I also told you something about uh, something like when you take um, a bottle of boom, soda, bottle of pop, pop soda, okay? The thing you use a bottle opener, open them, boom, 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 into your mouth. Now, for you, it contains a high level of phosphoric acid. <laughs> now, when you take them, you are supposed to be killed, you are supposed to die. But all the homostatic organs, that, that is the detoxification organs system. I told you the liver will be highly stressed out, the kidney, your intestine, your lungs, your lymphatic system, your, mm -hmm, your kidney. They will begin to mm, work in order to correct that thing, to alkalinize or to neutralize that level of health acid all right and then how do they do it they will bring about what is called leaching calcium from your bone <laughs> and then again also if that one is not enough hmm, they will begin to pull from glutamine they will begin to pull glutamine from your skeletal skeletal system that is from your bone from deep inside your bone marrow in a very serious case there are people that i know in our environment their breakfast a bottle of coke another some people can even because this is addiction this is addiction they are addicted to this same thing now i want you to imagine what could be going on within their body right now their food is all about processed meal with a pop coke and all those things oh god May God have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So when a situation like this goes on, hmm, it will bring acid alkaline imbalance. And this is very bad. Okay? It could bring a, a lot of sicknesses and diseases, arthritis, hmm, so many allergies, bone fracture, cancer, Many of them, this is not what we are going to mention here, okay? But it is certainly not good, all right? So, your food, your lifestyle. Last time I talked about the kind of exercise, the activities you go into. Because your activity affects your breathing pattern. And I told you about one mysterious law, universal law, that has it that uh, the, the, the higher or the faster you breathe, and the more shallow your breathing pattern, the sooner that person is going to die. This law is called the law of inverse proportion. The law of inverse eh, longevity. Okay? <laughs> you see, it, it makes us understand that the, the span of life, your lifespan is related to the rate of your breathing. <laughs> How strange. How strange. So you should be careful. Uh, for an example, if the rate of your breathing or someone breathing is uh, 18 times per minute, hmm? Hmm. then that person is likely to live 96 years. But if because of uh, excessive stress, whatever, maybe exercise or the kind of job you do, or even involving strenuous animalistic excess um, activities, seizure intercourse, I there are people that abuse everything, everything abuse. Remember, you say if you found the honey, 
because that activity those activities they are sweet so what is sweet sweet to the test they are pleasurable to your brain okay you are being manipulated it causes the the the, the surgeon of certain hormones and chemical in your in your brain then you feel good your body feel good and because uh, does people are many people abuse certain things so if this happened 18 per minute 96 years is the person going to need but if because of this kind of activity it goes to 20 or or 30 per minute and then the person is going to live 60 years <laughs> if you can make it up to five times per minute okay breathe you can breathe five times per minute then it is possible the person can go 360 years Maybe you say it is not possible, but all these things they are possible. Go to the Eshal, I have told you. Go to the gurus, those people that meditate, okay? Many of them are not married. So they don't have strenuous activities and they don't eat much. Another strange thing is that uh, the more you eat, the sooner you are going to. Mm, because you are giving your body more work. Okay? Learn how to allow your body to rest. The people, some people, they are indulging, they are indulging on food, drink, pleasurable activities. See, honey is there, but do not eat too much, lest you begin to vomit. Because of those things, the body is already intoxicated with the sweet honey and it is vomiting. What is that vomiting there? Sicknesses and diseases, telling you that uh, you have been living on excesses. All right? Be careful the way you live your life. Avoid infection, acidic diet, the sugar, summarily, everything that is coming from the industry, everything that is man-made, it's not meant for you. You may not be able to eradicate them entirely, 100% better, minimize them. Learn how to calm down and prepare your own meal. Buy the natural meal, the rice, the beans, the yam, Okay, cook them by yourself. Minimize your table salt intake, okay, to help your osmo regulatory uh, processes. Sometimes allow the organs to rest, okay? The liver, the intestine. Sometimes learn how to fast. Let the body purify itself. Let the body uh, purge itself. Let the body eliminate. Eliminate the... the the, the old food from your system before you begin to eat again. You can fast for a whole day. Okay? Just take, you can take uh, maybe fruits and vegetables. You can, you can take only water, preferably warm water. Okay? Warm water. If you are not going to take any food at all for a whole day. Some people can fast for three, can fast for three days. Some people can fast for a whole week. And then that's their normal way of life. They will carry on normal life process. Even co complete their job, go to the work, and then you, oh my God, they are just maintaining their life. So it is all about rest. Learn how to meditate, okay? Learn how to meditate. Take away the alcohol, that unhealthy lifestyle. Learn how to maintain peace in the environment. Make lots of friends. Be at peace with all men. The Bible says be at peace with all men. You don't need to keep anxiety and to keep an enmity with anybody. You don't need to think evil against even the people you call your enemy. Wish everybody good. Do good to everybody. That's what the Bible says. This, can you see, Christianity, I have spoken at length about Christianity and other, other series of what, what I talked about. Christianity is different. <clears throat> Jesus Christ is the best. You cannot compare him with anybody. You cannot say Jesus is just a prophet and the other person is also a prophet. No. Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Check out all those things. Jesus alone was able to say, and he's still saying today, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. I have the power to lay down my life and I have the power to pick it up again. Nobody is taking it away from me. Taking it away from me, I laid it down on my own accord. Only Jesus made that statement and accomplished it. No one else has ever made such statement. No one else can accomplish that. Okay? 
So this makes Christianity very different. The issue of life, of happiness and longevity of life, personal contentment, and the future hope and expectation and the acquisition of a eternal life is available, readily available in Christianity because of what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. Okay? Maybe you say, well, what has religion got to do with health? Okay? Why not? God is a spirit and you are made by God. Okay? And God gave us this uh, principle. All right? So, what are you then supposed to do? I am just saying, this is a summary, what you're supposed to do. Choose your meal and right. Drink enough water. Maybe next time or sooner, we will talk about food combination. I'll tell you how to eat. Because it's not even everything you eat that is beneficial to your body. Okay? Do not be deceived to think that because you ate something, your body has accepted all this. No, that's not lie. Okay? Many of them, you are just poisoning yourself because of ignorance. Poor combination. Eating the right thing at the wrong time. <laughs> Eating the right thing with the wrong pattern. Giving the right food to the wrong person. People should even eat according to their gender, according to their age, according to their occupation, according to their, their, their level of life, their life status. Like if you are pregnant, okay? If you are lactating, maybe some women after their menstrual period, no particular food is a balanced meal for everybody. Remember, things are fluctuating here. It is all about balance. When you get to this place, then you do what is uh, required of you in that place. When you get to another stage of life, you do. It is not what you did last year you're supposed to be doing it right now. What you've been doing well while you were single, you still carry on that kind of lifestyle right now that you are already married and you have children or you have, have a change of job. No. It is all about learn from the body pH. It's supposed to fluctuate. Balance. Take a little here, a little there, and maintain the balance like the wave of the ocean. Nothing is stable in this universe. So do not be stagnant. Do not be stuck in one pattern of life. Do not eat too much alkaline because that's even dangerous. But I am saying this because I know that you are highly acidic. Okay? So these are things you should be mindful of. What are the kind of food you're supposed to be eating? Hmm. Okay. You should eat fresh fruits. Before my time runs out, <laughs> it is all about going back to nature. Remember Daniel chapter uh, Daniel chapter one from verse five. He said, "We don't want the meat of the king. We don't want the wine of the king. We don't want all those bakery. We don't want all those supplements. Okay, those chemical supplements. We want something natural. Give us vegetable and water." Water has no supplement, okay? Even mineral water is no supplement to natural water. What do I call mineral water? That's what they call mineral water. I'm not talking about natural water that is actually mineral water, like the stream um, from the fountain of river. Water that have dissolved the ion inside, like a calcium, or that have had calcium, I had minerals dissolved inside. Okay, people don't call that one mineral water. What they call mineral water, in order to to manipulate your mind, what they call mineral water is what they put in a bottle, distilled water that is not even healthy. Pure water is not healthy for your body. Okay, they distill it, try to purify it to take away all those dissolved. They say it is impurities. They take away all those dissolved mineral. It's, it is not healthy for your body. Distilled water, purified water, purified in the industry. And then they will add their own preservative to keep up the life shell. It is not healthy for your body, okay? So when I say mineral water, I'm just telling you what they call mineral water. What they produce is what they are calling mineral water. So you should eat fresh fruits, yes. 
eat fresh fruit. Hmm? Okay, something like black beans, okay, uh, kidney beans, these are pops. They are source of uh, healthy plant-based proteins. I have talked about plant-based meal. And that day, I talked about vegetarianism. If you want to go vegetarianism, you are afraid you, are, you may have deficiency because you are no longer eating meat. I talked about things, plants that could give you that thing that is available in meat. It is there. If you want to take away milk as an example, then you should find coconut milk. Okay, it is a healthy substitute for animal milk. And what's more, it is healthy. And you can prepare it yourself. What is preparation? Just get it and drink it. No preservative, no harmful something. It will purify your body, strain your body, and make you whole. Your internal organ will be like that of a newborn baby. Oh my God. Look at what God has given to us. But because of civilization, our people have neglected all those things. Okay? So, substitute all these things with the healthy natural organic hmm, preservative free fertilizer free if it is available fertilizer free eat those ones they are healthy we should know that all grain are acidic hmm, what does that mean everything that is cooked in fire is already acidic because by firing the thing this is nigerian language by cooking the thing by roasting the thing, by frying, by salting, by preserving it, it is accumulating acidity, accumulating impurity. Like the day I told you that if you must eat cooked meal, all right, cook your meal and eat it within the next three hours. After three hours, it is no longer healthy for your body. <laughs> but what do we have? Some people will cook their meal and refrigerate it for two weeks and because it uh, has gone under mm, minus zero degrees centigrade, it has been frozen, they think that it is fresh. <laughs> okay, well that's it. These many things have come to stay that it seems as though we are not able to avoid them anymore. Well, do it. Nobody is going to die, okay? But that's not the best. So what am I trying to say? If you really want to maintain the, the, your health at optimum level, go natural. Anything that is cooked, boiled, fried, smoked, salted, is already acidic. Even when you get a nut and you salt it, you begin to dry it, okay, you have altered the thing, alright? But uh, these things, you cannot avoid them. But the one you cook by yourself is better than the one that is prepared in the industry, okay? So we are talking about good, better, best, bad, worst, worst. The industrialized processed one, they are the worst. The fresh, natural fresh, harvested and eaten at that time, they are the best, okay? Mm. Hmm. All right. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> uh, you should also take a raw unsalted nut. I've said that. Cold press oil. Like in Nigeria, we have a, <clears throat> our palm oil and they are healthy. Okay. Fine. We all, you should also take honey. Honey should be your substitute for white sugar. Okay. For aspartame, a sweetener, artificial sweetener, so honey is natural. You should eat them, but remember where we read in the Bible, you have honey, <laughs> eat as much as is needed. Unless you eat too much and begin to vomit, honey also has the negative um, aspect of itself, okay? <clears throat> but it is certainly better than white sugar. That's what we are taking, talking about. Remember, we are talking about good, better, best. Okay? So honey is better than natural sugar. But if you eat fruit enough, I don't think you need a sugar or sweetener because look at how God has done all this thing. 
God has given us balanced diet in every fruit and vegetable. The fruit, they have sugar. The right one that our body can identify and digest them. The fiber is there in that fruit, in those fruits and vegetables. To cleanse, wipe off your internal environment. And when you defecate, then your colon will be clean. But when you eat nodule, without cabbage, without rough edges, mm, you may not even go to the toilet. When you indulge on bread, you may not even go to the toilet. Now, you, uh, are you not going to begin to wonder what happens to all those bread you've been eating without going to the toilet? Because they are flour. That is flour. Processed flour. It has no rough edges. So it will go there and get a... Mm, smeared. It will be smeared. Your body will use it to plaster the lining of your of your what? Intestine. And they will be there. A breathing place. They will ferment. A breathing place. A conditional atmosphere to breathe. To, to breathe diseases, sicknesses by the microorganisms. Can you see? But if you had incorporated enough fiber, the fiber will move. Press itself against the wall of your stomach, against the wall of your intestine, and then while passing away, everything will become clean. And you see, and uh, bread, cake, they don't have fiber. <laughs> the noodles, they don't have fiber. Can you see? I told you, those people, they'll take away the natural something, put them away, and then produce what they want you to eat so that what they want will happen to you. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated, okay? And then legume. Daniel said, give me legume. Remember yam. They are healthy. Sweet potato, tonic, rope gauge. Oh my God. They are healthy, the legumes. Okay? They are healthy. The legumes also source of uh, protein like soya beans, lentil, lima beans. Okay? They, this help to reduce. Though they are protein, Remember, generally, protein are acidic, okay? Generally, protein are acidic. But this one are healthy because they are natural, okay? So, now, super alkalinizing ones are here. Right now, talk about avocado, the coconut, the lemon. Remember, I told you that uh, it is not how the thing tastes like lemon. If you taste lemon, you say, mmm... <laughs> it is highly acidic. You want to burn my tongue, but it is highly alkalinizing when digested. So you should take them. Okay, there's something I do in the morning. I wake up, I press out lemon juice in warm water and drink it. This is the day, the way I start my day most of the time. I have many things I do here. I have many things stored in. Um, um, ceramics containers in a bottle pull down the liquid pour them pour the warm water in the morning drink them on empty stomach and then the day has started okay oh my god may god help us in jesus name the lime the grapefruit the tomatoes the sour cherry tomato when you eat them raw they are colonizing when you cook them they become acidic these are things you must know how to prepare your meal so that they will not turn into something else okay when you cook a potato and something like uh, when you cook uh, your tomato it is it, it, something entirely different but when you slice them and eat them raw, you get the best. That is if you are trying to alkalinize your body. And that's exactly what I'm telling you so that you begin to... Because I know that you are already highly acidic. Okay, eat your tomatoes raw. But over here in Nigeria, we we'll cook rice. And then we we'll cook tomatoes too. Okay, we we'll eat them together. We we'll eat them together. But that's poor combination of meat. But we eat them anyway. They are good. They are better than the one they are that are produced in the industry so but they are not the best okay so if you cannot make do with the best at least make them do with the better one all right good um avocado oil is the coconut oil every oil from natural source they are there all right peppermint tea 
This is super alkalinizing. Peppermint tea, lemon water, lemon water, like I have told you. Okay, then take all those things. And then another thing is any activity that reduces your stress. Walking is the best exercise. Sleep is the best rest. Then you also need exercise. Moving and sweating help remove acidity. Okay, from your body. So then some people, especially in the Asia, they do yoga. All right, I don't do yoga, and I know my reason. Okay, but I do deep breathing and meditation. Meditation from the Word of God. Just thinking about the Word of God. Try. Turning up the word of God in my mind, revelation comes. Okay, then another thing, you should get body massage, massage therapy. Okay, uh, there were, some people can go to the hospital, or if you are married, okay, your partner can massage you. All right, okay, good. Massage therapy they can be very, very important. Because when the person that knows how to massage, the stress of the day is being taken away. Massage will touch you in a loving way. I'm talking about couples now. Touch you in a loving way. So learn how to make love. Every time it should not be sex. Like men, they are too animalistic in their move. Okay? So, and then another thing is um, uh, something that has to do with them. Uh, Brushing your teeth, okay. Brush your teeth sometimes without a um, toothpaste. So these are things. Many of them may not make sense, but they are effective. But they are effective. Okay, this is where we are going to stop for now. And something that has to do with um, body pH. The summary is what. Run away from the industry. I will say it a million times over. Run away from industry. Okay? Prepare your own meal. Go natural. Go raw most of the time. Raw most of the time. Take away animal product if it is possible. Seek help. If you need to contact me, that's the reason why I am here. I pray that God will bless you for everything. May God bless you and keep you, help you to understand, give you health, and help you to discover your purpose here on earth. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Remember to subscribe to this channel. This is the best channel to be with. See you next time. All right, there you have that groundbreaking and eye-opening exposition on mystery okay remember to reach me at the comment section and do come back remember we have seven different topics every week of the day when again identity deliverance ministry health factors the human heart cast ministerial admonition matrimonial admonition and the love and romance this is the best channel here on the planet earth you are never left wanting okay may god bless you and keep you and help you to find out your purpose here on the planet Earth to the glory of His name. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Remember that I love you.